Hello, wonderful world of YouTube. This is Bahamut 2 k 456 aka Baja, and today I've got a simple tutorial for you. Chances are, if you've ever recorded some audio through a headset and listened to the file that's produced, you've heard some background static, or noise, whilst you weren't talking. As it turns out, thanks to Audacity, it's actually pretty simple to remove the fuzz. As always, there's a simple step-by-step -step text version of this guide in the description. So the first step is to download and install Audacity. You shouldn't need my help to do that. There's a download link of the newest version in the description. And since my movie editor of choice is Sony Vegas, I will show you how to pull an audio file out of a pre-existing recording through it. If you have your audio file separate, or if you've already used Audacity to record your audio, you can click the annotation on screen to skip this step to the actual noise removal process. Now, if you use Fraps to record your voice and in-game audio at the same time, it will actually merge tracks, so that method won't work for this. Uh, for DxTory, however, separate tracks are maintained, which makes this much easier. The first step for opening an audio track from Vegas and Audacity is to set Audacity as your default audio editing program. To do this, you simply go to Options, and then to Preferences, and then you click the Audio tab. Here you're going to see a line, or an option for a dialog box that says Preferred Audio Editor. Click the Browse button and navigate to your Audacity installation directory. Uh, by default, it's in your C disk, under Program Files, and then Audacity. And I apologize that I keep switching back and forth between Audacity and Audacity, but if I don't use both, someone's going to yell at me. So, under Audacity's folder, uh, since I am using the beta, it's actually under 1.3 beta. However, it should, it's always going to be called Audacity.exe, so there shouldn't be any confusion there. Then you hit OK, and you need to actually import the uh, media, which I have forgotten to do here. I will open up a uh, Half-Life 2 recording that I made with Jesse. And yes, that is something that's going to be going on my channel soon. So, from there, what you need to do is actually right-click on the processed audio file once it's been processed in Vegas, and click Open Copy in Audio Editor. You don't actually click Open in Audio Editor, you have to open the Copy in Audio Editor, because if you don't, it will try and send the entire AVI file or mp4 or whatever media file you're using, it will try and send it directly to Audacity, and that doesn't work so well. Now, it's going to take me just a moment to be able to export this, because I am actually recording to the same drive that I am working off of, so this is going to be a little bit slow, and I'm probably going to edit out the actual loading, because I'm not going to make you guys sit here for another minute and 30 seconds. So at this point, I've imported the entire audio stream, and we're into the actual Audacity editing process. I like to open the file directly from the original because it's far faster, and because, generally speaking, I've opened it through Vegas, which has given me the option to create a copy already. The first thing you're going to want to do in the program itself is to click the Edit drop-down box and then select Preferences. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl and P at the same time and you'll have the same effect. Uh, from here, on the left, you're going to see all kinds of different options, but what you're going to want to do is to select the Playback section and change the length of preview to maybe uh, 10 or 15 seconds, I would recommend. Chances are yours are going to be at 5 from, by default, but that's not really enough to let you see what you're actually getting. Now, this particular track I'm showing you doesn't have a whole lot of noise on its own. However, when I edit it in Vegas, I have to scale the audio volume up to make sure I'm heard over the game, and at that point, it's very audible indeed. So, the first step here is going to be to find a section without any audio. Just background static, and highlight a good second or two of it. You only need one or two seconds, no more, no less. Just small amounts. From here, you're going to click the effect drop-down box, and choose noise removal. Then, from here, since you've already selected that one or two seconds of blank noise without any vocals, select get noise profile. This process tells Audacity what it's looking for to remove from the audio, and it's going to automatically throw you back to the audio streams. From here, you can press Control a to select the entire audio stream, and then go back to the Noise Removal Effect box. A good place to start here, start here is with Noise Reduction at 10, Sensitivity at 0, Frequency at 150, and Attack Decay Time at 0.01. The slider you're mostly going to want to play with is the Noise Reduction slider. This chooses how aggressive Audacity is with removing the background static. The higher the slider, the less noise you'll have, but the more distorted your vocals will sound. You'll need to try and strike a good balance between clear sound and low distortion. Also keep in mind that it's good to leave a bit of background static, or it'll sound unnatural to the human ear. From here you can press preview to see what your audio sounds like. You know it's going to be a good night of TF2 when... Once you're happy with that, just choose OK and Audacity will automatically apply the noise cancelling throughout the whole file assuming you've selected it. 
you can then save the clip. And I'm just going to save over my pre-existing file because I created a copy when opening from Vegas. Here is the same sound clip played twice, once before noise removal and once after. Why hello there. This clip actually has my air conditioner on in the background just for a little bit of extra background static. Why hello there. This clip actually has my air conditioner on in the background just for a little bit of extra background static. And that's pretty much it. That's the easy way to remove background static from your vocal recordings. If this tutorial helped you at all, please remember to leave a like or a favorite. It truly helps me out a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and until next time, be cool, be wild, and most of all, be groovy.